Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic Hypersonic. I'm Barry P. Cook. Let's talk about the latest episode of Stargirl, which was called, you guessed it, Summer School Chapter 6. It starts off with Black Cat at work at a diner where she encounters Isaac, and he taunts her about what the JSA did to his folks. I guess they killed them or imprisoned them or whatever. Artemis then menaces Beth for the same reason. We then see that Cam comes across Courtney and Pat at the school where they're cleaning up after what happened there the previous week. He tells them that Cindy, AKA Shiv, is in town, which sends them off to look into it. Shiv grabs Courtney's sister, Mike, as bait for a trap. Isaac and Sportsmaster attack Pat putting him in the hospital, and they destroy his robot. The JSA then realizes that Shiv is behind the attack, and Shiv actually calls Courtney and tells her that she has Mike at the school and is going to make her and the JSA suffer. Courtney worries that she can't take Shiv on without Pat, but her mother reassures her that she and her friends can absolutely do it, and she tells her to kick her ass. The mother then calls Shade and tells him that Shiv has the diamond because Courtney tells her that. The kids go to meet Shiv at the school and an epic fight ensues with crazy acrobatics, great editing, staff blasts, and property destruction that was on a really crazy scale. And during the fight, Shiv tells Stargirl that Mike is in the ground. This of course isn't true. Beth finds Mike during the fight and frees him because she can see through the walls with her goggles. He ends up clocking Shiv good with a toaster, at which point Isaac announces that his fiddle is broken from the fight, and Shiv unleashes the diamond as Shade shows up, declaring playtime over. Eclipso takes over Shiv and blasts everyone, causing Stargirl to fly into the diamond with her staff, shattering it, which seems to create an eclipse over the town and it releases Eclipso into his own body. He, he manifests bodily, at which point he hurts Shiv after she attacks him for betraying her and then he dusts Isaac, like turns him into dust. Shiv again has a go at him, only verbally this time, and he drops a black hole type goo pit on the floor, which absorbs her like quicksand. Shade has a go at him after our man gets tossed aside by Eclipso like a rag doll, only to be dispelled into the ether. And when Stargirl goes at him with the staff, which seems to hurt him, he touches it and it turns dark, after which he takes off and the eclipse ends. In the aftermath of the fight, the JSA and Courtney's family lick their wounds and try to absorb what happens. Eclipso then assumes the guise of a little boy, he like morphs into a little boy, and walks through the city center laughing, and that's where they ended. The episode, this was a great episode, the best episode of the second season for sure. It might even be the best episode of the series so far. The fight was very cool. Shade was very cool. In this episode, he basically shows up and kind of rules the school for a couple of seconds you know, in a very much go away now children, the adults are playing moment. And it's very like powerful until he gets his ass kicked. <laughs> so that was cool. Also, it was cool to finally see Eclipso and to see why everybody's been worried about him. He seems to be very powerful and he's quite the foe. So it's gonna be interesting to see where the season goes from here. I was a little disappointed that the Green Lantern's daughter didn't show up with the ring and kick some ass, but it might be that they're saving that for later because certainly sh her power is going to be something to see going up against Eclipso because I think she's going to be pretty powerful on the show. So that's it. I'll be back to review the next episode. Until then, my friends, I wish you peace and long life.